So hello and welcome back and this time I want to cover the basics of Git and as you can see right here I'm in the hello vim uh, directory where we use vim for something and basically look at the basic image of that and now we want to start tracking um, the files in here with um, a version control um, tool and for that we are using git because that's the standard right now and so let's see how we can do that. First of all, I want to show you something. Um, right now there is no git folder or anything. And if you want to start tracking this directory, then we just simply type git init. And that is fine. So as we can see, we are now in the branch master. And if we type la, uh, then we can see here a new directory, which is .git. And this is basically responsible for tracking all our files and the changes to them. We can look right here. We have some things in here that are related to git, but we don't care about them because we are not looking into the inner workings of this video. What we are um, interested in is um, that we have a working directory right here. And if you want to commit something to our um, local repository first, we first need to stage these changes. We can take a, always take a look at um, what has changed in our working directory with, with uh, git status. And as we can see, we have untracked changes right here in all the files because all of them are new and not in our local directory yet. And al also you can see that it suggests that we git add something and we can do that. For example, if we type git add main dp, then stage again and we can see we have um, one file to be committed one change to be committed and those other changes uh, won't be committed if we com commit them right now but if we want to commit all of them we can also do git add and then the dot and the dot means um, the local uh, the current directory cursively so if we add that then we can see that all of our changes are now staged and will be committed if we commit them and to commit to our local repository we simply do git commit and then we leave a message with the uh, with the minus m and we just name this init and as we can see we have now committed these files to our local repository but usually we want to do um, we want to push them to a remote repository so others can work with us this is just for local um, um, version management. We can also always take a look at all the changes we've done with git log. And as we can see, we have here our commit hash. And yeah, and this will be useful later when we want to revert back to all the changes. I think I will show you in another video how to um, push this local um, repository to a remote repository so others can work with you. What I want to show you now is um, how to clone a repository and for that we just need the link. And I hope I spelled this correctly. And let's see if we have it. And that looks fine. And if we can, if we take a look here into our log, we can see all the commits that have been made by me. I've added the status, unsigned, something, add, and that will have worked. See what we have. And we have got an L. Let's try to run this. I think I really need to rewrite the make file. That is really ugly. But as you can see, we have a room. Do you want to do? Mm, yes, it would be take. All right, then we can go outside now. I think here. Yes, okay. Now that we can stay here, oh, oh. well, of course not that um, cool uh, right now. But what I want to show you is um, that we've changed some things now, and we go get status now. Then we have um, some things changed now, uh, mainly the which is basically our. Um, player.h. If we take a look at the bin folder, um, you can see right here we have git ignore. It basically tells um, us that we want to ignore the bin folder and that this is not tracked by the version control. So this uh, makes it that the changes in the binaries uh, won't show up and won't get committed to the repository. And also um, any GTD or PETA files, which are also, uh, it's the debugger I've used. And now 
as you can see we have our git methods then we want to add these changes and we want to verify again that the changes are now uh, saved and then we can commit these changes to player action and with that we have committed it to the local repository and then if we want to commit this to the remote repository we push uh, with a uh, clone the drum then we can do um, git push and then we need to sign in and i don't know my password or did i something and of course that's fa false but if you provide the correct password then um, this will work and we'll push it to the remote repository same thing is working with um, git fetch or git pull um, this will pull all the remote changes to our local um, working directory but we are already up to date but let's say if i have changed something on github here then it would download these changes in my local working directory and of course i should have taken a look in the readme again because it has been quite a time so because here you can also see uh, the navigation take yeah take select item that would be helpful would have been helpful and then select um, and also you can press l uh, to list the items in the inventory so yeah that would have been helpful anyway it's good to read tv and what else uh, there's also a stash um, let's say we created a new file but we don't want to include this into our current commit um, there is a stack where you can push changes and pop them again when you want to apply them for example we don't we want to add this file later and we want to um, keep this in mind basically and what we can do is to do git stash and i think that's already everything we need but, but do we need the navy file not sure i don't think so no local change today but there are maybe we need the editor but yeah um now we don't have any staged changes but if we want to let's if we take a look here now our file is also gone because the change is pushed onto the git stash um for later and then later when we want to come back we can do git stash pop and then it should appear again so this made our change uh, reappear and now our navy file is back see here and now we can commit this if we wanted if you if we chose to do that then if we go to the log let's take the second one oh, let's see. Let's see 13 16 17 18. Okay. what we want to do is to um get the set and then we can go back here and we now to tie a git log now we see the new action is gone again and we are back here so that's how we can revert to a previous change let's see our git set again and we already have our um, unstaged change change that we had at that point that is how we can revert back to a previous stage in the code and that should already be it for this video um, we will cover how to work on remote uh, repositories um, at a later point because i'm also thinking about if i should show how to set up your own git server or not if not we will just use github or gitlab or something and yeah see you next time <laughs>